three numbers between 1 and 14. 7, 12, and 10. Seven, 12. I'd like to also remind you, Stephanie, that there is no right or wrong answer to the questions that we're asking today. Um, if you just feel free to relax and give us a uh, comment. First of all, what is the most valuable piece of advice that you could offer to a newcomer in the field of female impersonation? To have patience, because it's the biggest situation in my 10 years that I've had to come up with, is dealing with people, dealing with audience, friends. Um, you just have to be patient. Okay, Stephanie. All too often in life, our friends and family don't totally agree with what we do in our lives. Female impersonation is one of those things. Which do you feel is most important to not do what you want to do with your life in order to maintain the respect and admiration of your family or going ahead and doing what you want to do with your life so that you can have self-respect and self-satisfaction? Well, actually, I don't really have that problem. My family has been completely supportive. My father's a Methodist minister. He has always been supportive of what I do. My entire family knows what I do. As a matter of fact, my parents called me early this morning before I left to wish me luck and told me to call them as soon as I heard him. They're very supportive. I have no problem with it at all. I have no reason to hide it. And lastly, Stephanie, and I'd like to re-emphasize that this is really a personal opinion. You're traveling through a desert, and you see three objects. The first being a chest full of expensive drag. Second, a homeless man. And thirdly, a patented cure for the AIDS virus. You only have room for one of these objects. Which one would you choose? I would have to say the homeless man because I feel that although finding the cure is a huge solution, we still have to take care of the ones that are here with us, just everyday people. And so I would take the homeless man.